Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Hey folks, Son of Beast here. Welcome to the second game of the NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals. We're still in the Eastern Conference semifinals, but thank you to Meatbone, uh, Paintbrush, and Silver Spoon. They know that it was a tied game in between the Sixers and the Heat. But now, it's time to head things on here for the second game in between the Boston Celtics and Milwaukee Bucks. This time, I will be taking it over to do for the second game. And joining me on the sideline with the commentators will be Test Tube and Fam, the dynamic duos of their relationships since season number two and three. Yeah, that's right. I guess we're all ready to get going here. Yeah, definitely true. I think the game's gonna be uh, gonna be a little bit more change up in between. Well, you'll see how this one goes, so let the games begin. Let's enjoy the game that we can enjoy for. We'll see you here on Pfizer Golf Forum on the other side. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Here we are here at this Pfizer.forum Forum as the players are all getting ready to get dressed up and then get on the court for a pregame warm-up. The terrific spot here of the Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That beautiful bay here for this city. And this is game number two once more with me and Fan and Test Tube along the sideline reporter. It will be Ali Look Force and will be underway in just a moment. But there's a lot of them going on, so let's see what we have, Ali. The Great Freaks the Bucks have one of the game's most devastating scores. But, Brian, they've learned you got to have plan B. Coach Bud said we have multiple guys that can have the ball late in games. Adding Drew and using different guys in different spots, we have more options now. Back to you. Well, certainly, well, certainly does have it out there. Thank you, Allie. And the lineups are being occurred here as follows, as we have it all here on the board. The key matchup is this in between Jason Tatum and Chris Middleton. Giannis Antetokounmpo against Al Horford. Robert Williams against Brooke Lopez. And Marcus Smart against, against the other player of Drew Holiday. And then, along that, Wesley Matthews and Jalen Brown. I think we're all ready to get going. This is going to be a lot of a tense workout for speed and even visual mount into the affection. Here's the start here for Robert Williams and covered up by Brooke Lopez. Oh, what a put and dunk here in this one. He has his first bucket here in game two. You know that Robert Williams is always getting there just a, just a bit of an outside, outside of that one. Well, he has a lot of them going on so far. And sometimes with uh, much players than they have many, there might be another one to go by. Drew Holiday makes a fade off shot here as this one turns to be a two and two. Now here's Smart, covered up by Drew. Robert Williams over Lopez. This one goes off target and now he sends it off to Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton is excellent the beast out there. I always know that uh, Chris Middleton always has to make the great changes out there. There's some other ways that they can get right through him. He likes to dish it off to Anacumbo. He decides to give things off to uh, the other players. And sometimes he wants to go on his own. Williams inside gets a good beat up layup here on the drive over again. Jason and Jason Tatum receives his first assist. You gotta be careful with that one. And you know that Jason Tatum was able to, able to get there just in time? Well, that's what he knows, knows his best. Nice feed. The two pointer eye of the Koopa takes his first bucket. And they still tie up. They definitely did. Yanni Nakupo is like the only Greek figure that I've ever had. So I think later, he might be showing up a dunks. The two-pointer can't get to go here for Robert Williams as Brooke Lopez gets a rebound. Now Lopez will dish off to Drew Holiday. 
with just about 3.15 left to go. Now Wesley Matthews are outside. And now here's Squid Middleton. The two-pointer is up. This one reaches out here as Horford takes the rebound. Tatum on fast break. Rebounded by Anacumbo. He's just putting up a lot of, uh, uh, just, just a bit off the uh, target of the angle. It was how hard he gets. Matthews, three-pointer goes in. And now they have to lead up. They're leading it so good right now. In between zone attacks, they've got some great numbers here. Tatum, oh, answer back. The fight begins as it goes in between. The, uh, the battle of those two players of the key matching starting of Chris uh, Middleton and sometimes Jason Tatum. Yeah, Jason Tatum was going to get there just like that, but he has to be careful. That's the one that there is a tough one to just try to go right by him. Now here's Marcus Smart, covered up by Holiday. He dish off to Tatum. Moves over to Brown. Wesley Matthews on him, making a good deep. Now two minutes has occurred here in the first period of the game. Oh, Tatum delivered a dunk and then called timeout here for Milwaukee with under two minutes left. Yeah, look at that. You know that Jason Tatum was going to get the smooth dunk. He knows he was going to make up a defensive breakdown. I know you were still looking for him, but he was going to mess it up just like he did here before, but ever beyond. And you talk about me. There is uh, a chance that the Bucks can definitely go for a 2-0 deep. It may be a tough run in a single shot, but, but trust me, there is uh, another player that can go right through it. And with all the last scores, the Heat just got knocked out from the Sixers, and now they have 1-1 one and one in the tie series. So, how does this all come out with the, uh, with the single digit here for Joel Embiid and the other guys? that uh, played here for the Sixers. Uh, I definitely think that might, it can be a very tricky idea. I know that it was a very uh, tough one to make a decision here, but as all that happens, most of the time it can uh, be a, a very challenging uh, to take off and bound. And I think most players of the Sixers, they did stay up. They don't want to quit here for Philadelphia. They got a lot of them down. And trusting me, there is uh, a chance that the Sixers can go right back into the in the lead, but we'll have to keep an eye on that later here for game number three, and there's a changeup going on. So the new players have checked in so far, Bobby Portis Jr., Daniel Feist, Devin Pritchard, Derek White, and then it's Pat Connaughton, Nora, and Allen here on that side. Up to Holiday. Off of a good start here for Newell O'Ballon. He gets his first assist. And another bucket for Holiday. Now they have the lead up by two. Richard on Holiday. He's off to Williams. Grant Williams on Nora. Backhanded pass up to White. Connaughton watching him. Screen on Feist. Trying to squeeze in there. Oh, then there's a dunk on Derek White. They still tie the game up. Yeah, there is a great uh, call here. Great screen protections in between those two. And I'm betting that that was a very tough one. Portis Jr. around him. Get out of the way! Portis Jr. delivers the dunk. They have a crushed on Vice. And the other two of Grant Williams. Oh boy, that looks like a Bobby Portis Jr. was out there flying all along. <laughs> I can definitely call that one here. Two-pointer again for Daniel Feist. Now they still tie it up again. Only 40 seconds to go here in the first period. And it's now 13 in a, in a tying run in between. Holiday decided to give a screen off to Nuora. Two on one. And the first foul is called on Boston. That will be Pritchard's first personal foul. And for a scene foul, the Kerr is on Boston. And this one is a great cross angle. Because of Jordan Nora, he did himself a great fade, fade off in between. And now with that screen, he decided to just go for a pass, and now he wants to make the layup drive. In between my only invocation, it can be a very change up to go right from the from the uh, from the paints of outside and inside, or it can be in, in the corner from the elbow. Very tough one to go right by. First free throw at Nuora sends it in. 
And the take for uh, for Nuora, he hasn't scored many of his uh, points in his career since last season. How did this happen to from the last season that it all did give out? Well, given that it's a, it's a very tricky one. I know that Jordan Nora hasn't practiced shooting all day, but most of all, he wants to get along with the team, and he wants to get better here for next season. So he decided to do is keep shooting, and then when he's ready, well, he has to go for another one. He can be going for it the next one. Paid off with a good look of Richard. They still tie it up again. Holiday back over to Bobby Portis Jr. Back to Holiday. Oh, look at this. Drive by Drew Holiday. They have the lead up by two. They're going slam dunks everywhere in the paint, looking for a great drive moments. Three seconds to shoot. Oh, uh, and Brown up. That goes off target, and the first quarter is end of the books. This turns to be a 17-15 run for Boston and Milwaukee. The second quarter is coming up next when we come back after this. This group is our team is going to come out and try to be physical with me, try to hit me, uh, knock down to the floor. But I just got to keep my composure. I think I have a great team that always talk to me and uh, tell me I to stay focused, stay in the game. No, I know that I'm going to get a lot of contact and uh, I'm just ready for it. I must admit here that uh, Giannis and the Kubo has definitely done some uh, a lot of contacts going on. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it can. I think he's going to get to the next point. Well, I wonder what his next jet, next gen status can be. If he's going to take it for another uh, for, for another contact in between. Well, uh, we'll have to just find out in the next season. And I was betting on that one here. Serge Ibaka was going to make that drive. All of a sudden, there was a bear defender. It was a very tough one to like to like stay on him. The first foul is called on Brad Williams as this one starts the books of the second quarter as we welcome you back here at Milwaukee of Pfizer Forum. Two shots will be coming up for Serge Abaka. The first free throw for Abaka is good. Since last season he had played here with the LA Clippers. And most of his uh, career status, he has a lot of them in control. How does it take for him to try to, like, go from the Clippers to Milwaukee, guys? Well, I'm, I'm bet I, it seems like it was very hard that uh, Serge Ibaka was going to, like, stay in the game for, for Kawhi Leonard. But since we know that Kawhi Leonard is out in a game, it looks like their teams are missing him. So it looks like their team you know, are having trouble here. They want Kawhi Leonard back. But for next season, uh, I'm, I'm pretty concerned you, it, it can be a very tricky one to give it a try. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about Serge Ibaka, but the, but the clever one for me, it may be a very tough one to give that one a try. I can definitely tell you that Serge Ibaka was a great man here in the center. He knows his best. Connaughton for three, gives it up, and he makes it in for the first three-pointer in game two. And you can call Pat Connaughton, he's the only veteran of um, University of Notre Dame. Brent Williams makes a shot and was going to be deflected here for Serge Ibaka, but not for long, he made a number two. Now, Drew Holiday will dish off to Ibaka. Gives it back, and it's tipped away. Feist takes a steal. A great recovery in between here as Pritchard wants to give things off to Feist without losing the ball control. Now he switches back to Pritchard. Brown to White. Pocket five. Brown. Feist for two. And nothing gives up in front. Ibaka takes his second rebound as the Bucks lead by five. Now he moves over to Holiday. Holiday moving over to Ibaka, back to Allen. Pocket six for the Bucks. Junior up, Bobby Portis with a scoop drive. And the timeout will be cured on Boston. You can feel that energy. Bobby Portis is a name of him. All the counts. And I bet that it was going to be Bobby Portis. He really knows it's better. 
he's got a great strength out there. So with that, well, the next time I was being called for Boston, it can be the difficult one to make the strange year since we have seen them since the first round of the NBA 2K20 playoffs since the pandemic. I don't know what to tell you about the Boston and Milwaukee. They've got a really a tons of stats out there. In between those two, I have nothing to configure right by them. It can be a very difficult range to give that one a try. And since I was re recalling that one here, since the last game that did turn out, it all does turn out to be the uh, only toughest game that does stand out. How do you think that the, the Bucks are going to try and do? They're gonna, probably going to keep an eye on that one. I must have been here. They might, they might go for it a chance. They might, uh, they might do it again. They can, they can definitely try that one again. They can go ready for action. I bet that, uh, that the Bucks will have to just try to like keep in foreign ground. But he, they wanted to like try to go for three here. It, it, I don't think it might be, not be possible enough if they're gonna try to like take the win here for three consecutive NBA Finals here. It, it's gonna be a very challenging idea. Horford outside. The two up. Rebounded up. And this one goes to Middleton. Middleton gets his first rebound and now this one will scoop back the airway. On a Kumpo right next to the free throw line. He throws over to Ibaka. Swipe back to Allen. Holiday for three. Good on a triple. That's Allen with the assist. Holiday gets nine points. And this one extends by ten. Just like that. Drew Holiday. Really love to do that. Two pointer reaches for Al Horford. And an assist goes to Robert Williams as they are coming back down by eight. Just about two minutes left here in the first half, and Anacumpo will switch it off to Holiday. Moves back to Anacumpo. Two-pointer up. That takes a carry in there as Anacumpo gets his second bucket. Anacumpo's gonna go for another one. He might be just going for the second chance out there. Horford, Tatum for three. The triple range, no good. Now Anacumpo wishes off to Holiday. Swipes it off to Abaka, rolls back to Anacumpo. Middleton goes back outside. He decides to give it off the screen, but he wants to give it back. Look at that feed! Anacumpo just got a dunk, and it's Middleton with the assist. That dynamic duo, the power of the two, the pressures in between the Anacumpo and Middleton, these two are the best. You bet they went. Because of Alan Cooper. He's like only the tallest man here. He can definitely stay here for longer and longer. Horford. On Middleton. Back into Smart. Five to shoot for the Bucks. I'm sorry, for the Celtics. Three. Smart. Off the target. And it's Allen with the rebound. 45 seconds to go. Allen swipes over to Middleton. Swings it off to Anacumbo. Moves it back to Allen. Back to Anacumbo. It's stolen away by Robert Williams. White on Allen. This is off to Williams. Ibaka outside. No, Orper outside. Smart. Covered up by Holiday. And uh, it's Robert Williams. Five to shoot. Up and over to Horford. Over on Holiday. Another miss by Boston. And that will close this off here for the first half. The Bucks take 31-19 over Boston. This is definitely a, definitely a great game for the first half. You bet they would. Now to close things off, let's send you down to Allie LaForce. Allie? Thanks guys here. I am here at Mike Bordenholzer. What do they have to tell you about the first half? You know, I think our defense was pretty good, activity, hands. I think we created a couple turnovers, got out and run. To uh, be honest, get to the basket, we made some breaks. So it's just good on both sides of the ball. That activity created lots of chaos. Good luck in the second half. All right, Ali, thank you very much. And we will be right back. The second half is coming up after the break. These guys are all there alone. 
Got a lot of reaction out there in between the uh, courts in one and two. Let's see how they did in the first half of the game for the recap. The first half is concluded with the statistic report. That's all for now. Let's head you down to back to Forum for the second half of the third quarter. Just so glad you have this year with us today as we start the third quarter. Me and uh, uh, Sam of Beast, Test Tube and Fan are back here in the, in the game. And checking out the static of the quarter, Drew Holiday. He had five assists, nine points, and one rebound. How do you think his career is going to be, guys? That was just like a lot of like effort out there. I think Drew Holiday is going to reach his news level to make the star even go even crazy better thinker. I know he was just playing here so many times here before in the NBA history. But there might be some other solution that can give them things off to if they want another attack. And trust me, uh, I think uh, Drew Holiday is going to go for it. Making new levels and change-ups. Oh, Marcus Smart got it right away. And they're now down by 10. Holiday goes back that way. Now it will be 420 left to go. Oh, it's knocked away. Marcus Smart gets a steal. Tatum on fast break, slams it down, and this one comes down by eight. You're never going to leave the man open because that one is going to be a very hard time. Don't let your man lose and take the pressure from you. And here's Middleton. Back to Anakubo. Middleton decided to give a screen off to Anakubo. Two up. Two down, and that will not count here for another fade-off shot. That misses off the target. Here's Tatum, the two. Order up, and it's Holiday with the rebound. They're all fighting for it. Fighting rebounds can be very painful, but it may be tough for them to try to work them around a bit. Smart, off to Brown. Fish back to Smart. Smart. Taking moves, taking it inside, Horford for two. That will smooth things up here, and they're down by five. They're coming back anyway. They are coming back. You got to watch out. You got to get right by them. Middleton, bounce pass to Anacupo. Oh, he just did it again! Another dunk by Anacupo. It's eight points. Oh my goodness, the Greek freak is on like a oh my moment. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about that, but that, that's a that's an insane run. They always know insane runs. They always do got one of great pressure here. Even you can beat the beat the bullseye buoy. <laughs> about that. That's like a, that's like amazing, I, I, iconic run here. They got a lot of stuff. The timeout has been called here for Boston. Only 2.52 remaining in the third quarter. And bringing you up here for the next game in a Western Conference, as the next game occurs, there will be the Warriors and the Grizzlies here at Memphis. And then the last game, me and Nephon will be reporting us here for the last game of the Suns and Jazz. There's a lot of chance they can definitely do things happier if they want to get right through it. They have a lot of them. They did they didn't really want to push it off of it. Everything is the game. They want to do it. And just like that, you you know, definitely uh definitely counts at that point. You got the fact. Williams right to Pritchard. Holiday on him. The ball crossing over the movement. It could be a very tight one. Double man. Williams up back outside. Back to Tatum. 
Find the shoe. No on it. Inside now. Put the low pass block jam. He's got a first block here in the game. That was a smart defense. Excellent. That was the best one I was going for. Brooke Lopez, you can feel the pressure of him. Now Tatum inside. Terrific feed here on Daniel Feist. Now they're rolling back in right now by five. Portis Jr. Connaughton decides to go for it again. Yes, he does. And number three pointer for Connaughton. And that's two three pointer consecutive scores here for Pat Connaughton. Last season and this season, well, it, it's definitely a very tough one to go to go right in between the zone outs if you wanted to take your open three pointers up ahead. They might be happy, but we don't know if he if he makes it or not. It can be tough. Connaughton back outside. Now it's Brooke Lopez taking the screen. Two-pointer up. And a terrific shot here for Connaughton in the, in the baseline. Now they're leading up by eight. You could feel that, that, that Pat Connaughton was going to like able to take that shot. That was a hard core, and they were going to try to make that in time. Here's Drew Holiday. He's covered up by Pritchard. Passes over to Bobby Portis. Rolling back to Holiday. And what a drive by Holiday. And it's Portis Jr. with the assist. Now they're swiping all over it again. They are doing it. Most of the time, I could definitely tell that Bobby Portis Jr. was going to be a lot better happiness. It's happening for him tonight. But it might be a, a very close out range. After Jalen Brown three-pointer, here is Drew Holiday. This is off the board as Junior. Back to Holiday. He wants to make some new changes here, but decided not to go for it. Now he decided to help out Bobby Portis Jr., but it was ran away. Junior up, and he's fouled. That was covered on Grant Williams, his second personal first team foul. There are so many contact fouls already. They were giving it up a number two point of strengths out there for another loose focus. First free throw falls for. I bet that uh, that could be very uh, tricky one that, to make a, one a good setup drive. He probably could definitely do that. New changes are being occurred as Jalen Brown and Derek White is checked in for Jason Tatum. Three players come off the course as Ibaka and Allen are checked in. The second free throw for Wardis Jr. is good. He has now six points. They have that lead coming back in. Allen right on Pritchard. Finds Brown, open man, look for two. This one depths in the range here, a number two point score. He's on a perfect range here tonight. Well, it's, it's very tricky to find in center. Now he needs to go for another transition to make that one work. Nuora on Ibaka. Over again, over on Grant Williams, and it's another two for Ibaka. Ibaka. Like Chewbacca. Uh, not quite really. <laughs> uh, I don't think about Star Wars here. It's just like a, it's like the same thing that can be a little bit change off. And that will conclude the third quarter. It's 44 to 37. Now you're never going to show that one like Ibaka. <laughs> Well, man, I definitely love this game so much. Me too. And <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back with you after this. Fourth quarter is next after this. And a quick now moment for the State Pharmacist of the game. Now, I'm going to talk about that one here. There was a terrific uh, opportunity chance. Now that was Drew Holiday. He was taking care of his moment of time to bring on with a courtesy of his own game. And that was all he had did. He had proven himself like he was doing a lot of terrific games here in offense. 
I definitely agree. There is a chance that can definitely try things off one moment at a time. If their players have a great, a terrific, uh, terrific strength, they have that focus, they got a lot of them down. Here's Brown, screen on Robert Williams. And the block that goes on Chris Middleton. Middleton, you can't defeat him. Anakumbo reaches over to Ibaka. Ibaka rolls over to Middleton. Middleton right to Anakumbo. Taking the inside range, and he loses the ball. Wow, that was going to be a shock one. Brown up and two, and he makes it inside. Now they're trying to gain back in momentum here by five. And now the next one can be three. Or anything can happen before. It may be possible enough. They might have it. Middleton right into Anakumbo. Moves back to Conaton. Now he wants to switch things over a bit, but decided not to. Allen. Ibaka. Two-pointer up. He's fouled. It's almost a delayed whistle. And that goes on to Robert Williams. It was a very tough close call. I know that was going to happen because he was slammed things down. He was he was hitting on his shoulder. That was that causes the um, the the foul to put a whistle on for the for the Celtics to be raised up on. Yeah, you could definitely just tell that they should have got a chance to replay this again because um, if it was a foul, well, you know it would have been a very very hard time. I'm definitely telling you, it, it's a very uh, tricky one to make that on, uh, count as a foul. After a free throw made, new changes as Pat Connaughton checks out and Allen moves over to point guard. Now they're back in for another one before Drew Holiday can enter it in. The second free throw for Apaka is good. Now he has six points. This one's giving him a great free throw here, but not for Boston. And they haven't picked up a foul yet for the Bucks. They're on a terrific streak here. They, they're always that quiet. I know you definitely did a great job, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm betting on that one because uh, it looks like the, the Bucks are on a perfect, uh, perfect run for tonight without giving a foul trouble. They did a great job <laughs> before uh, before the uh, before the one of the guys made some shots here. They wanted something else to do, just what he did. Middleton stepping inside. Look at that feed! What a terrific play in for Middleton. That's his first bucket, and now he's up on the board. Terrific uh, action. That was all it took. And Derek White slams dunk. Now it goes back down by seven. Here's Ida Kumpo with under three minutes left here. It's 48-41. This is off to Middleton, outside. Bounce pass to Ida Kumpo. Who's inside? Almost went in there, and it's Hal Horford with the foul. As Ida Kumpo will have the free throw line shooting two. They're definitely in trouble right now for for Boston Celtics because uh, they are losing their streak here and are not like picking up strength here. They're not trying to like help them out here on the players here on offense. They're losing the pressure. That's what happens. Then if they don't solve the problem, then who would have known it? Somebody would have known the answer. First free throw, Brian Akupo win it. They feel like the Greek freak is already always a proud man that never sells down here before. New changes here for the Bucks and the Celtics as Jason Tatum is checked in for Jalen Brown. Meanwhile, the other one as Ibaka and Allen are checked out, Brooke Lopez and Holiday are checked in. Back to the starting five. The second free throw for Anacopo is good. Now he has 10. 2.40 to go here for the fourth quarter in regulation period. 
Tatum watching it on a, uh, on a vodka. Horford will take one, and he decided to make a yes woman. Now they're down by seven once again. Back to back flows. It can be very tricky, but don't be fooled if there's a man trying to, trying to stop your run. Derek White, fast break, here we go. And here we got a foul called on Wesley Matthews. His first personal. Yeah, that was it. The streak of this one was a perfect run here in three quarters. But the fourth quarter was a bust. So that was it for the, for the Bucks. They could have got a chance to try to stop them. And now for Derek White, he will have to keep, take two shots to free throw line. First free throw for White is good. And Derek White already had played with the San Antonio Spurs the last couple seasons before he gets transferred off to a new team of the Boston Celtics. It was going to be a very, very tricky one for him, but not for, for, not for anybody because, um, because Derek White was, um, was able to switch it in here with the, with the, from the Spurs to the other team. It is a very difficult challenge. Not just a few players, but a lot of players are having trouble here too. Holiday missing off the layup. Smart off to Tatum. And now two minutes left here. Tatum with the fade off feed back down by three. They're just closing in gaps here. Holiday moves over to Matthews. Brooke Lopez inside. This is up back to Holiday. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Reaching back to Middleton. Back to Anacumpo. Five to shoot. Around the fade off shot. Two. That's good. Anacumpo makes a shot. It's 12 points game. Timeout called by Boston with a minute and 36 to go. It's 52 47. You could feel the heat. Oh man. They all love the players of the Bucks. They really love to strength things up to lead the series 2-0. Well. I'm getting on that one. It can be a very, uh, very good one here too. But for him, he may be ready for another tricky day for the matchup. They would love to do that one anytime. And so with that one being said, I guess this game's going to be a very, very amazing if they win the second game. So we're going to see what they can do here for the offense to try to pick the strengths up. I'm wondering if there's a chance out there that they would love to do it here for the second time in a row. It can be a very good one here too. I might see how they can do. They wanted to do their performance run. They want to give it all. Now with the uh, New Balance player in the game, we have time right now to check it out. The New Balance player in the game of Game 2 goes to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is just a one extraordinary uh, player that has already played here for the uh, history of each season. All of them that time, he now knows he could definitely try to uh, work his way up again and become a superstar after All-Star of Level 3. In between the zones, I, I may go for that. But for Drew Holiday, I think he can go way more than better than, than they had before. Brown onto Matthews. Watching on him, he already knows he has his first personal foul that gives up for the Bucks first team foul. Brooke Lopez deflect the shot! You can feel that Brooke Lopez is like hyped up and says, dude, I'm coming for you. And that took up with a mobile one block. Two blocks in a row for Brooke Lopez. Wow! You you gotta see that one. A great play in the feed. I'm thinking Brooke Lopez can go for number three. Oh, then you can definitely try that one, but, uh, but the blocks can be a little bit change off here, too. You might go for that one, like I the combo did. Tata back to Brown. Matthews on cover with the two. That's a great team for Lopez, and he's fouled. That will be Brooke Lopez's first personal second team foul on Milwaukee. So it looks like he had made a mistake. That was like nothing. You, you could hear about the uh, coaches complaining about this, and that was like that was a clean block. How 
did he just get the man on you know, on the uh, shoulders? And why did he push the bat in the pressure? Well, they all dislike him. The coach doesn't like the call. They know they, they really disliked it because of how that happened. They were trying to, like, smack things down. I mean, that's not going to help with the defender if they're going to try to, like, keep them on the eye. The angle one time and put it back on the board. That would be a big problem here. And the Bucks can't try to save their day and try to go back up in the lead to keep it strong. Second free throw for Robert Williams is good, and now they're down by by three. Holiday up to Adana Kumpo. Over and over is Middleton. Middleton right back to Adana Kumpo. Back to Holiday. Now the screen is Brooke Lopez. Over Brooke Lopez. Feet off inside. It's Drew Holiday with the assist. Now they're back up by seven. By five, I bet. But there, well, that won't change the results. Brown, watching in, deflected by the great freak of the Kumpo. Wow, your pressure of the man is like the only killer out there that could definitely do it. So that's a great D. Keep it eyes on pride there, players. Play hard. Brown outside, covered by Matthews. With under 40 seconds, five to shoot. Brown thinking about the three. It's rebounded by Anna Kumpo. And a foul will tip off here on Al Horford, a second personal for team foul on Boston. They're now down by 30.8 seconds here, looking for the next one. Deep inside zones, the transition gets tough. Brown looking for the attack. And a steal! That goes to Middleton, and he's fouled by Tatum. Jason Tatum was already just like losing his patience out there. He may be having a hard time, and he wants to try to attempt to steal it by trying to foul him because um, they are all over the place. It was tough for them to try to make him score. And then it all happened to the NBA. Middleton ending the first free throw. And second free throw for Middleton is good. Now the timeout has been called by Celtics with their final timeout. 21.3 seconds of 56-49. You definitely noticed that the, but the players are all uh, in the hydration out there. They're going to need some time here to figure out to come up with a plan on offense. And then for the defense, they're going to uh, try to uh, keep the man-to-man -man inside the attack. They got a lot of stuff to go through. Coming up next will be the Memphis Grizzlies and the Utah Jazz. I'm sorry, Memphis Grizzlies and the Golden State Warriors here at FedEx Forum as we have Kevin Harlan and along with uh, DA and of course with Clark Kellogg and, and of course the players on the court. There's a lot of great instructional that we are happening here for tonight. But it might be very tough enough to go right on the spot. The money in the ball bank, well, you definitely might have to call for that one for help. <laughs> Calling for help, it may not be that tricky, you know, but uh, you, you, get the, you get the feeling of that one. A lot more times than science rules. It may be a very uh, good one here, but that's true. You can definitely, uh, you can definitely do anything. After last substitution here, Richard outside. No foul given up to Milwaukee. And New Orleans will close things off. They're closing things off way, way trickier than before. They love to see it. New Orleans wants to go for the three. And he couldn't make it that time. Well, that's the end of a second game. Milwaukee Bucks win 56 to 49 over the Boston Celtics. The lead series is 2-0. Well, their teams are definitely doing a great job out there. They always got a great chance. I think game three will be hyped up. Now I'll send you over to Ali LaForce to close the game. Ali, it's all yours. Tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this 
game so convincingly. Uh, it was a team effort. Uh, I think we came out, we did not mess around with the game. We did our job, we defended, we moved the ball. That's what we able to do, I the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. All right, Ali, thank you very much for your time right now. And thank you for joining here for Game 2 in the Eastern Conference in between the Sixers and Heat and the Celtics versus the Bucks here. And this is the courtesy of this game that did turn out to be one of the best. So I guess it's now time to present your three star players of the game. Why don't you start off here, Test 2? You give that one a go. Why, thank you. I, I'll definitely do that one here. Okay, so here's number three. As we roll things off here on, the, on that side, we got something going on. And there's one thing that could go for another one. We have it's Drew Holiday, the New Balance player of the game. 11 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, and 1 steal. Only one dunk performed. All he did turn out, he might be going for a new level. Into the Heights. Now let's, take your, let's have your take on you, fan, for number two. Number two, this one goes out to Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak here. 12 points, 6 assists, 6 rebounds, 1 block, and 2 dunks. That turned out to be just like he did, and way off the town. The board of it can be a lot of deflection, but for him tonight, he's a star. The legendary uh, player. Don't never mess around with the Greek freak. <laughs> I know you got your feeling out there. There was a lot of uh, good hustling on the bus lane. Now for you, number one, Son of Beast. Uh, thank you very much, you fan. As to close things off here, I definitely tell you, the shot again. It happened again before, after game one was over. That was Jason Tatum. It was 16 points, two dunks, two rebounds, and two assists. It did turn out to be the best. I don't know why Jason Tatum is still good. Because of him, he was putting a lot of enthusiasm that he wants to give things off to, and I want to have his score in dotted mind. And that will do here for the game two of this game matchup of the Celtics and Bucks. Next up will be the Grizzlies and Warriors here at FedEx Forum. And then later is Utah Jazz and Phoenix Suns. Here as me and me phone will be commentating here for the last game of the night. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. And this has been a presentation of the conference semifinals. I will see you all here for the last game after the third game is concluded. So with being said, me, uh, Son of Beast, Test Tube, and Fan are gone. I am your host. Have a great night here at Milwaukee of Wisconsin. And, of course, the Boston of Bleed Green. They will be playing at Boston for game three and four for the next two games.